Hi guys, this is Simon Daxford. In the comments to one of our previous videos, we were asked to solve such a limit. Okay, let's see. Here we have a limit of a type f of x over g of x, while x tends to a. So this means that we have a function in the numerator and a function in the denominator. We can solve such a limit using L'Hopital rule, but there are two conditions. The first one is that for x tends to a, f of x should tend to 0, and also g of x should tend to 0. So we will get indeterminate 0 over 0. And the second condition is that the limits of f prime of x over g prime of x for x tends to a should exist. And when these two conditions are met, we can replace our initial limit with the limit of f prime of x over g prime of x for x tends to a. So now let's apply this rule to our example. All right, guys, now let's have a closer look at our limit. If we put 0 into our numerator, we will get e raised to the 0's power, which is 1, minus 0, minus 1, so we'll get 0 in the numerator, and 0 in the denominator gives us also 0. So this condition is met. Now let's find derivatives of numerator and denominator. So we will get limits for x tends to 0, and in the numerator we will get e raised to the x power minus 1 and negative 1 gives us 0 and in the denominator we get 2x so this limit exists and we applied L'Hopital's rule so now let's put 0 into this limit we will get e raised to the zeros which is 1 minus 1 so again we have 0 in the numerator and x tends to 0 gives us 0 in the denominator. So here we need to apply L'Hopital's rule again. But first we can factor out 2 in the denominator in front of our limit. So this gives us 1 half of limit of e raised to the x power minus 1 over x for x tends to 0. So again, we have 0 over 0, and now we will find derivatives of numerator and denominator. We have 1 half times limit for x tends to 0, and now in the numerator we have e raised to the x power minus 0, and in the denominator we get 1. So basically this is 1 half times limit of e raised to the x power for x tends to 0 and this is 1 half times e raised to the 0's power and this is equal to 1 therefore the answer is 1 half so here we found this limit thanks for watching us and i see you next time